An important tool when working on industrial control systems is a good multimeter. And we already have a video on selecting multimeters and I'll put it at the end of this one. Today, let's talk about how to use the multimeter with our PLC trainer or really any control system. Today, I'm gonna be using two meters, this Fluke 87V, which probably is the most common meter that you told me that you're using out in the plant and this T6-1000, which is quickly becoming my favorite meter. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of why, but also I have a whole video talking about this one. I'll put it at the end of this one as well. While I'm using Fluke meters in this video, Fluke is not sponsoring this, though I do have to thank them for loaning me these and Electrical Equipment Company for putting me in contact with the right person. On the front of your trainer on the left side, you'll see that you have three terminal blocks with a black, a white, and a green wire. This is the 120 volt that plugs into the wall outlet for your trainer, and it's gonna be AC voltage. So to select that on our 87V, we're gonna switch it to the V with the sine wave above it, or that squiggly line. Then we're gonna check between the black terminal and the white terminal, and we have 120 volt. And we have a video showing this, but really quickly, let's see what happens when we go to DC and try to check it. We're not gonna really show anything. And that's why I really like this T6-1000, because if we look at its selector, then it simply has volts. And when I touch it between the black and white terminal, it automatically detects whether it's AC or DC. Now a reminder, when you're doing your wiring exercises, we actually do no wiring to these three terminals. We just have them here so you can learn about AC voltage. After that, it continues on and powers up the PowerFlux 525 drive and continues over here to our 24 volt DC power supply. And on the back of our trainer, we have two sets of terminal blocks. The left set are plus 24 volt, and the right set is the minus or the zero volt. Using our 87V, we're gonna wanna switch to DC voltage, which is the solid line with the dots underneath it. And in this case, polarity matters. So if I put the black lead on the minus and the red lead on the plus, I'm gonna get plus 24 volt DC. And if I swap them, then I'm gonna get minus 24 volt DC. But again, that's what I love about the T6-1000 is you simply have a voltage selection and we put it between the plus and the minus. It's gonna detect that we have DC voltage and shows 24 volt. The other common one you'll need, especially early on when troubleshooting your wiring on your trainer is ohms. And that's the omega sign up here on both the T6-1000 and the 87V. And when checking ohms, you should not have any power on your trainer. And on your buttons, you're gonna see you have two types of contacts. You have an NO, which stands for normally open, and it has green inside of here. And you have an NC, which stands for normally closed, and it shows red inside of here. And if I touch it to a normally open contact, then normally there is no continuity. And if I press it, then I'm gonna get a beep. And on the normally closed contact, it's normally beeping, and when I press the button, it opens the contact. I'll put a link in the description to this T6-1000 and this 87B, and here's a playlist with some other helpful tips.